In this video, we'll take a look at solving word problems using the Pythagorean theorem. And I think that the key to being successful with these problems is to start with a good diagram. In our first example, we're told that we have a triangular garden that will be built in the corner of a backyard. And we're told that the garden will be enclosed by the yard's fence on two sides at a 90 degree angle and by brick edging on the third side. And if the fence sides are each two meters long, we need to determine the length of the brick edging needed. So regardless of whether you use a diagram method or the algebraic method, I strongly recommend that you begin by drawing a diagram. So we have a triangular garden that is enclosed by fences on two sides at 90 degrees, and the length of those sides are two meters. So maybe two meters on that side, two meters on that side. And we know that our angle here is 90 degrees and the brick edging will make the third side of the triangle from here to here. And we don't know how long that is. We're supposed to figure that out. So let's give it a label. And because it is the hypotenuse of the triangle, let's call it C. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find C, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle. And we'll start by doing that using the algebra method. So our Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we know that our hypotenuse is C, therefore A and B are two and two. So we can write two squared plus two squared equals C squared. And then we can solve for C. So two squared is two times two, which is four. And four plus four is eight. So eight is C squared. So some number times itself is supposed to work out to eight. And how do we figure out what that number is? Well, we use the inverse operation of squaring, which is square rooting. So C is the square root of eight. And that's an exact answer there. If we want an approximate value, we can use our calculator and just type square root of eight, which gives us about 2.8. So C equals approximately 2.8 meters. And we can conclude with a therefore statement and say, therefore, the length of the brick edging needed is 2.8 meters. We could avoid the algebra altogether and just use our diagram to find the length of brick edging needed. To do so, we need to draw squares on the sides of our triangle, because the Pythagorean theorem is really all about the areas of these squares. So let's find the areas of these squares. This square has side lengths of 2 meters, so its area would be 2 meters times 2 meters, which is 4 meters squared. And the same thing happens for this square. Its area is 2 times 2, which is 4 meters squared. Since this square is built on the hypotenuse of our triangle, we know that its area can be found by adding the two smaller areas. And four meters squared plus four meters squared gives us eight meters squared. In order to find the length of side C, we need to figure out what number multiplied by itself gives us eight. And to do that, we can use the square root. So we could say that C equals the square root of eight. And we've already seen that that is approximately 2.8 meters. So therefore, the length of brick edging is 2.8 meters. In the next example, we're talking about a 10-foot ladder that's leaned up against a wall of a house. And for safety reasons, the bottom of this ladder has to be placed at least 2.5 feet from the wall. And we're asked to find the greatest height at which the top of the ladder can safely rest on the wall. Well, again, the key to solving these problems is to start with a diagram. We have a ladder that's leaned up against the wall of a house. So if this is the ground, and this is the wall of the house, we have a ladder that's leaned up against it. And of course, this is a Pythagorean theorem problem, so we would expect a triangle. And assuming that the wall is perpendicular to the ground, we'd have a 90 degree angle right here. We're told that we're using a 10 foot ladder, so therefore we can write 10 feet for the length of the ladder. To find the length of this side here, remember that we want the ladder to reach as high up the wall as possible. So we would want the base of the ladder to be as close to the wall as possible. But for safety, we can't get any closer than 2.5 feet. So for that length in our triangle, we'll use 2.5 feet. And we need to figure out how high up the wall this ladder reaches. So we're trying to find the length of this side. Let's give it a name. Since it is not the hypotenuse of the triangle, I'll call it A. 
So for our algebraic approach, we have our Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We know that the hypotenuse is 10, and our other two legs are a and 2.5. Therefore, we can write a squared plus 2.5 squared has to equal our hypotenuse squared, which is 10 squared. 2.5 squared is 2.5 times 2.5, which is 6.25, and 10 squared is 100. To solve for a, let's subtract 6.25 from both sides of our equation. Therefore, we get a squared equals 100 minus 6.25. And 100 minus 6.25 is 93.75. So a squared is 93.75. To find a, we can use the inverse operation of squaring, which is square rooting. So we get a is the square root of 93.75. And using a calculator, we quickly see that the square root of 93.75 is approximately 9.7. So A equals approximately 9.7 feet. And therefore, the greatest height is 9.7 feet. We can arrive at this result using only the diagram by once again drawing squares on each side of our triangle. The area of this square is 2.5 times 2.5, which is 6.25 feet squared. The area of this square is 10 feet times 10 feet, which is 100 feet squared. Since this is the square that's built on the hypotenuse, the area of this square and the area of this square should add up to 100 feet squared. We can find the missing area by subtracting 6.25 from 100. And that gives us 93.75, which is the area of this square. Finally, we can find the length of side A by figuring out what number multiplied by itself gives us 93.75. To do that easily, we find the square root of 93.75. And we've already seen that that equals approximately 9.7 feet.